hi guys in this lecture you will be learning the how to add the columns in the div so now here I have already created a div and here is the text and uh, here is its rendered form and now I'm gonna increase this text and make the columns or in other words block of this text so now here let's increase this text copy this and paste it here paste it again so now let's check it how it look like so here is the text so now I am gonna make the columns of this text I'm gonna divide this text into the columns like in the newspaper you have you are reading the newspaper and all the text is divided into the columns in the newspapers so I'm gonna apply the same style on this paragraph so here write the div selector here is the parentheses and here I'm gonna apply first of all we need the webkit prefix because this property is not going to work without the webkit so first of all we need to write the column count what is the function of the column count column count create the blocks of the paragraph in other words with the column count you can create two three four or five or as many as you want to create the block of the paragraph here I'm gonna create three blocks of the paragraph so now it divide the text into three blocks and you can also write four then it divide into the four and here you can also adjust this gap between these paragraphs so what here I'm gonna copy this and here you need to write column gap and here I'm gonna give the gap of 20 pixel so now let's check it now it's increase and you can also apply a border in between these columns so now I'm gonna apply the border here copy this here we can call the rule here the rule is the border so here is the style column rule style and here is the style is solid I'm gonna apply the solid and then copy this here I'm gonna give the width of the border is 10 pixel and here is the width and then I'm gonna apply the color here is the color is black here is the color so now let's check it how it look like so here the border is apply onto these columns so there are three columns you can create as many as you want and now uh, th this is a long way to create a column rule a column border here I have a shorthand property in a single line you can write all this code so how to write it first of all write the webkit here is the webkit and then you have to write the column and then rule and like border property you have to give first border width then style and then its color here it is and now let's check it so it is still on so it's working and now you can also give it the another thing that is the column width you can adjust the width of the column so here I'm gonna apply the column width here remove this and here is the column width here I'm gonna apply the 500 pixel so now the number of columns are going to reduce it's not working because we have provided the column rule here I'm gonna make it in the comment here is the comment and now let's check it so here I'm gonna increase this to 800 and then refresh it so here it's completely changed give it 600 
so here you can see that the column width is the 600 pixel so this is the way we can give the column width and now you can also give these properties in a shorthand property that is the columns here is the columns and first of all we are able to give the width here I'm going to give it 300 pixel and then the count here I'm gonna give the count two. so the two columns are created here it is created and now I'm gonna make it in the comment here then it will be work here. now let's check it so here here we have to provide webkit then it work properly so now let's check it so here are the 300 pixel column and with the two counts and the other thing that i want to tell you is we can also provide a heading then we are able to span that heading over columns so first of all here i'm gonna create a h1 heading here is the h1 heading here is here i'm gonna write heading and now i'm gonna spread this heading over the columns here is the heading but now i'm gonna make this heading to the part of these columns here it it is looking like it is not a part of this column so now here what we need to do we just need to write the h1 selector and here is we need to write webkit and then write the column and here is span and we can span the heading over the two columns and the one column here i'm gonna write one column so now it will be span only on the one column here let's look at it why it's not working so why it is not working here is the problem here we need to provide this heading inside the div here write this heading and now let's check it out so here you can see that this heading is span is spread over only one column but if we want to span it to spread it over all the columns then we have to provide all so now it will be spread over all the columns so in this way you can apply the columns and the column width and borders and span the columns and now I'm going to teach you how to handle the user interface, how to move the div, how to resize the div in the vertical and the horizontal direction and in the both directions at the same times. So let's start here. I'm going to remove this heading and now here remove this and here I'm going to make it in the comment here is the comment and now here I'm gonna provide the border to this div here is the one pixel solid black and now let's check it so here it is look like this and apply the width here I'm gonna give it 300 pixel it's not enough 800 pixel so now here is the div but here you can see that it is not adjustable we cannot move the div horizontally or vertically but if you write the overflow auto so then the overflow is automatically adjusted when we resize the div and here we have to provide the property resize and here if we write vertical then we can move the div vertically resize the div vertically here the attribute here the symbol is created and you can move the div in the vertically but here if we write horizontal then you can move the div horizontally only here 
it is horizontally moving and the content is automatically adjusted because we have provided the overflow auto property and if we provide both then the div is adjusted automatically in the vertically and in the horizontal direction here is here you can able to provide in the horizontal and the vertical direction here its height is reduced and here it is increased so in this way you can resize the elements you can apply this property on many other html elements if you have any problems kindly add the discussion in the course i will help you as much as i can thank you for watching this video if you have see you in the next section where we are going to build the awesome websites i'm going to teach you how to code each and everything in these five websites